With 16 critically acclaimed albums and over 1 million sold worldwide, this Canadian crooner is gearing up for a spring tour honoring the late Tony Bennett. But before he hits the road, he's here with us. So please welcome the one and only Matt Dust. <laughs> Hi. See, I changed. Yeah. You look great. Shall we sit? Oh, wow. Yeah, have a seat. Have a seat. Okay. So they're losing it, which is amazing. I love that. Matt came in and we were doing rehearsals, and I was in a track suit. He's like, nice look. I'm like, thank you. It's called Hockey Mom. There you go. But I changed for you. Um, okay, so, so excited to get into your world, and you were That's really fun. nice about letting us in. I want to talk about inspiration. Yeah. You spent a ton of time in hotels. You're on the road quite frequently. Did this sort of inspire your design yeah, of your I, home? I mean, like, when people think about going away, you're always thinking, like, okay, where are we going to go? And sometimes you can get a really nice hotel. Sometimes, if you can't, you're going to go even walk around and, you know, walk into the Four Seasons, right? And you're like, oh, wow, this is amazing. Beautiful. So I was like, hey, why not bring that to my house? Because at our house, we always have tons of guests. We have a multi-generation uh, living, yeah. and you're invited anytime you want to stay over. That's the way. Open door policy. Well, I actually <laughs> saw a little bit of the tape of your home, yeah. and I do, in fact, want to move in. Come on. Come on like, in. <laughs> it's really beautiful. Do you want to see it? Yeah. Do you want to see what it looks like? Okay. Let's take a look at Matt's home. It's good. Hey, City Line, Matt Dusk here. Come on in, you're my invited guest. I'm gonna check you into my hotel. Come right on in. So to begin, we have this lovely fountain here. It's blessed, you can bless your, I'm just kidding, no. Actually, it's an homage to my father. When my father was alive, he used to have this beautiful, beautiful fountain by the front door. So once we built our house, this is an homage to him. Now, we're gonna take you to where my family and I love to hang out. It's right here in the kitchen. One thing you have to know about this house, it's not just for me. There are many, many people that live here at any one time, anywhere from eight to 10 people. We're a multi-generational family, basically can seat up to 17 people at any one time. Which brings me to my next part, is this lovely thing called a coffee maker. <laughs> it's probably the most used thing. We actually did a count on this coffee maker. I think it's only been here for three years and we have 25,000 coffees. This is an art piece which is based on an old game. It's called Game of Goose and it was one of the oldest gambling games. Since I lived in Las Vegas, I thought it would be very appropriate to put it in my house. So this is where all the music magic happens. A good friend of mine, he's a very successful songwriter, has millions of these plaques and he put them on his wall and he said, hey man, look at all my, my awards. And so I put these up for his honor. <laughs> Come with me, we're gonna go upstairs. Now, a lot of people ask why this whole area is open. First and foremost, because we have a lot of people living here, we wanted to make sure all the living areas open into one another. Plus, when we're having parties, we have concerts down there, we have lots of people up here hanging out, watching the show. The one thing that we wanted with our bedroom was, again, to keep that dark kind of theme with the dark wallpaper and the blue. Here's a lesson. Measure first. <laughs> Sofa comes in. We can't get it in anywhere. We had to go off through the porch, up through the sunroof, across the roof, pop out the window, and it's here. So, if you ever buy this house, it's coming with. So you've seen the bedroom, but when I designed this house, I needed an escape plan to my favorite place in the whole house, the bar. Let's take the elevator. Come along. I'll see you there. Bye. All right, we're here. Best place of the house. This is where all my friends and family love to hang out. We got wine, we got beer, we got anything you want to make you, as my guest, feel comfortable. Want me to make you a drink? Okay. All right, so after I make my guests, like yourself, some lovely drinks, I like to come to my couch, relax, and catch up on some city line. My two pals, Colin and Justin. Ow, oh, they've really gotten better. All right, well, let's go to my second favorite place. 
It's called the Wine Cellar. Now this place was actually full in March of 2020, but unfortunately we don't have a lot left for obvious reasons, but who doesn't like a nice Cabernet or a Merlot or a Champagne? So I got a few things around the house that have some, you know, kind of sentimental value to me. This is obviously some of the greatest musicians of all time, the Beatles, and it's signed by Ringo Starr and Paul McCartney. All right, City Line, thank you so much for coming to my place. You're welcome anytime. You'll always be a guest of mine. Bye guys, adios. Oh Please. yes, there's room for me. Did you like that? That was so cool. It is so weird because like a house is meant to be lived in, right? right. So you got to clean up. You're like, oh crap, got to put this there. But at yeah. the same time, you're always welcome to come over anytime you'd like. Thank you so much. I've already sort of earmarked my yeah. bedroom in the West Wing. <laughs> uh, okay, so we saw them in the house tour. Let's welcome them now. Colin and Justin, come on in here. <laughs> 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's been so long since we saw you. First of all, how do you even know each other? We like, how does this work? We actually spent in prison together. I was going to say. And then we shared a cell, and Matt had this cutting <laughs> plan to break free, and he, yeah. he found and made a path for us to Canada. Oh, my God, that's it's, uh, amazing. It's all thanks to this one. Yeah, yeah. we've known each other for a long, long time. Yeah. Just, you know, like, what is it? Is it, uh, like, years. worlds crossing? Yeah. Is it events? events? Parties, is it mutual yeah. friends? We don't have any friends. We don't. We just work on it. But you know what? what is particularly insulting. So we made him a lovely dinner and he forgot all about it. He forgot he'd even been for dinner. Hold on a second. First, shot. first, first yeah. and foremost, I, I think it was you that was making the cocktails, so I blame my memory lapse okay. on you. Okay. I'll, I'll take it. Yeah. 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 A heavy I'll portrait. Down. Down. You know yeah. what? If there's a zombie apocalypse, I'm going to come to your house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For, you <laughs> I know. know what? <laughs> Who doesn't want a bar, complete bar, just like the Four Seasons totally. in their That's house? Really it's like a place. speakeasy too, like secret door. Yes. Going, it's dark in here. We don't here. charge people for booze either. Oh my god, this, this is good. It's free it's drinks. Super <laughs> lovely, really dramatic. Almost like a bond layer. Yeah, yeah, like yes. really, And you can imagine it'd be a great place for you to retreat because you lead a really busy life and traveling all the time. So well done. Yeah, well, what place. I really liked about the tape was just the fact that so many people live there. Yeah. You know, what was it? Seating for 17 around that yeah, table? Yeah, so, so the main table has, I think, 12, and the island has five. But the thing is, as a kid, I grew up in a, like a triplex. So I was yeah. always being taken care of by other, you know, other groups of people. Yeah. So uh, when we had the decision to, to move it all in together, a lot of our family is, you know, they're transient. They go on vacations. They got to go away for work. So what a great way to have a home. Just be more than that. Be almost like a place that you can call your own. It's not just a house. Yeah. It's multi generational, though, mm -hmm. isn't it? It's a so, commune. Yeah. It is. It is. I mean, it's a commune. We call it the village. And I love we call that. it the village. It, it takes a village, doesn't it? Yeah. I think the great thing about your house, and I think the takeaway for everyone watching, mm -hmm. is the fact that if we didn't know it was your house, we would guess. And it's because we could see your DNA, your personality, your yeah. hobbies, your interests, your achievements on the walls. Mm -hmm. And all of our this houses... a great publicist. And all of our houses should do that. You know, yeah. we should all have that. I'll take a little bit of Matt Dusk home with you. Yeah. We should all have that so we're in our spaces where we feel totally us. It should, it should yes. reflect your personality yes. rather than just making it, you know, I saw it at the store, I brought it home. Exactly. It should look like you. Yeah. Uh, back to the multi-generational thing, I just think it's really lovely and admirable, actually, because I think a lot of us have become very individualistic in our, you know, our suburban homes with our nuclear families or our partners, yeah. and that's it. And it's not really the way life was meant to be lived. So... Why was that important for you? Well, I mean, my, my wife is, she's from Eastern Europe, and that was always, like, a, a big thing. And second of all, like, when you think about, you know, as our, our parents or our elders get older, they need help, just as, you know, people like to have kids or like to have dogs or cats, and they, sometimes they just want to go away and spend time alone. So now you have everybody sharing in the responsibility. Uh -huh. And what's so cool about it is that we actually don't, want to kill each other right like we we, we, yeah. we, we we like each other so you know if if, if that happens then you yeah. just gotta take a little bit of a vacation you know i love it a lot of people uh for the older generations they will you know they go to a home there's nothing yeah. wrong with that if you find lodgings that work for them um but i think that there's something really special about having everyone live together yeah, we, mm. we built um, it like that so yeah, that you built is, it like that. works clearly much e even yeah. even after you know we hope that the home is there for a long time but mm -hmm. eventually if it, we decide to move 
someone can move in with the exact same situation, like you guys with your yeah. cats, you Very guys nice. move in with Tracy. Is there room for us to move in permanently? Yes, absolutely. Can you find us a wing? We'll take yeah. the wing that Tracy's not in. We'll <laughs> yes. be on the other side. You go to the east We're just going to move the yeah. whole yeah. set there. We'll just meet you at the pool. Yeah. 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 For a cocktail, Tracy. Were you watching some of the design details? You talked about personality, but was there anything else that jumped out at you, Colin and Justin, just about how uh, Matt's home was designed? Color as well. Do you know, we Color. live in a world that has become, to a degree, homogenous in terms of the green scale in beige mm -hmm. and I really like that but you do what we do Matt you added flashes of color in the middle of that and that engages the rest of your scheme it felt really exciting mm -hmm. I remember a very funny story when we first moved in uh, we would we would play uh, I spy with my my daughter yeah. and she would be like I spy with my little eye something that is black <laughs> and we're like, what? The, Could be anything. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, okay. Can you so be like, more we specific? Have to, uh -huh. we have to add color. We got to put the throw pillows in. We got to yeah. put, you know, all uh -huh. that stuff. So you guys got it right. Well, that's it's exciting. You know, your daughter was excited. Your whole family are excited by that. And I think just having little moments in your home really works as well. I love your staircase. Oh, you know, yeah. you know. The thing is, you're on stage. You're used to a great entrance. You know, you want to arrive. You know, here he is. Uh, you know, so have that at home that's as well. Downstairs. They I can see you descending like this. Yes. down there. I thought it was a bit funny in your dressing room. There was a lot of high-heeled shoes. Yeah. Was that yours? Well, you know, I didn't <laughs> want to say anything. Boys got to do yeah. what a boys got to do. <laughs> it's private. It's yeah. private. Yeah. Thank you, you for legs. letting us into no. your space. You there coming. is something very personal about doing that. So it we is. appreciate you. And you had to have all your dishes washed. Like it's annoying. <laughs> so good on you. film. <laughs> yeah, it looks very good. We're